Trudy, please. Hi guys. In today's video, I am going to be creating Wanda Wafer, who is a season three Shopkins character. And this was requested on YouTube by Maritza Martinez. So for this, what you're gonna need is some bright pink clay and also some brown for the wafer part. So I rolled out a ball about that size. I think mine is gonna be much smaller than the actual Shopkins character, but um, but you guys can make it any size that you want. So you'll need two little balls here for the feet and two for the hands. So it's pretty simple, I think. So let's go ahead and create our little Wanda wafer here. So I'm gonna make a little cube shape and just kind of press it on each side just so it'll get nice and flat and even. So we have something like so. And I'm gonna take one of my, let's see here. I'm just gonna use the end of a paintbrush and I'm just gonna make an indent inside because this is where the chocolate will be. So doing this, it might distort the clay a little bit, but you can just mold it right back into shape. So for the brown, I'm just going to roll out a log of clay here. And kind of flatten it down. Shorten it up a bit. So you kind of want like a little rectangular shape. And then what I'm gonna do is take one of my tools. I don't know, I seem to be missing some. I can't find them. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, there it is, it was hiding. So I'm just gonna use one of my wooden tools to make lines down the middle on each side. Try to make them as straight as I can. So once you have the lines down on each side, then you're just going to do a little cross on the top, just like so. So there we have our little waffer, er, waffer, wafer shape. And then I'm just going to poke that right in here. So once you get it in there, you just kind of fiddle with it a bit here. What I may have to do is take a little bit of the clay off. So you'll probably want to narrow it at the end so it'll fit inside of the little indent that you made. So you have something like that. And then you can just take your tool and flatten it. And then again, make your little lines if it gets squished. So there we have our little body and the chocolate. So it's just like that. And then what we'll do is put our little feet together. And pop that right on there. And then the mouth, that's just a little tiny circle there. And then we have a little hand on either side. Now I do know, um, according like according to the picture, that there's some silver up here. So I think I'm just going to paint that in after. So again, I'm just going before I go ahead and bake it. I'm just going to make my indents nice and deep here, so then it'll show up really good. Okay, so once you have your chocolate in there. It'll look something like that. And then the top, I'll make sure I square it up good. 
So you have a little cross on the top and then a line on each side. And make sure it stands up here. So now that it's all set to go, we'll go ahead and bake it at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. All right, so I've gone ahead and baked this little guy and then I painted the eyes on there. And I put some triple thick just on the wafer part so it's super shiny. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let the black dry there and then I'm going to paint on the silver part, which is the, what I'm assuming is the wrapper. So I'm just using some of this metallic silver and I'm just gonna go ahead and paint on here as best I can. So I'm gonna make two little, almost looks like, um, like a bow tie. And then I'm just gonna kinda have to guess on the, the sides. So I think what I might do, um, because the metallic, it's not, um, it's kinda thin, so you might have to do two coats. So I'm just gonna do two thin, or er, a thin coat for now, and then I'll put another coat on. And then I'll go in and add the white on the eyes. All right, guys. So I finished my little character here. So Wanda Wafer now has eyes and the silver on here. So once that um, dries completely, I might put a little bit of the gloss glaze over the eyes. But I think I'll just leave the pink sort of a matte finish so I won't, or won't glaze that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed how it turned out. You can see I have my little um, Cheese Louise up here as well. So she's just hanging out. So we'll add our little wand wafer. And then we have a little season, um, which one was this? Is this season one, I think. This was the um, Tina Tuna that I did not too long ago. So I do have a few uh, season threes to still do. So if you have any suggestions of ones you might like to see, let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoy. See you next time.